Good day guys, my name is Brother Spoo. Welcome back again to another reaction video. We're still doing Ahmed Dittard, the legend. The Ahmed Dittard man, like this guy is currently, he's breaking a lot of, he's teaching me something, you know? He is teaching me something and I'm very grateful, you know? These are the kind of people you wish you would have met while they were still alive, you know? But their work and what they've done will forever live on. And we have videos now, so we can always watch their videos. Yes, so without wasting your time, guys, let's get into it. The Black Muslim Child. India, the Uh, the question is about Muslims marrying Christian and Jewish women. Allah Baritala tells us that you can marry women of the Ahlul Kitab who are the, no, no, the word Mutatak, the, the pious women among them. Muhsinat, of those who are virtuous women. Among Muslims, when you're looking for wives, we must look for virtuous women. When you find among the Christians, they should be better than any Muslim woman you can find. But generally, our brethren, they look at the rejects. You see? <laughs> no, no, this is... I, I give you an example. Uh, oh, man. See, when I was working in the furniture trade, I had a brother working with me, Mr. Hafiji, and I saw his brother one day with a colored woman. It's a mixture between black and white in South Africa. And to all appearances, you know, she was a spent force, you know, ugly and all that. So I'm coming and telling this friend of mine, I said, you know, I saw your brother, his wife. And what a thing, man, what a thing. He says, you see, Mota, big brother is telling me, some people, they eat meat and they throw away the bones. My brother picks it up and makes a garland. <laughs> so there are brothers, Muslim brothers, they make garlands around their necks. You know, where did you find this woman? He said, on the dance floor. Where did you find her? In the cinema. She went out with you, she went out with her as before you. Allah says, Muhsinat, good woman, virtuous woman. So our brethren are finding easy way out. They say Islam allows. What does Islam allow? You see, the Ummah, the Ummah was such an Ummah that's given that permission that the whole Ummah, everybody is eager to have that woman change. Your business, my business, everybody's business. Mm. There's no such thing as my business and your business. Wow. So I have a right, but I'm shut up. Then the children that are born, what happened? Marriages break up. Sometimes it's a, con a conversion of convenience. Generally, I have seen in my country, the woman is converted. What is that? He goes with this woman to the sheikh, to the Molvi, and says, look, I want to marry this woman. So the Molvi sahab asks the woman, you want to marry him? He says, yes. So say the kalima. So what's that? Say, la ilaha illallah. So she says, la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. That's right. Now from today, your name is Fatima. You want to marry this fellow? Said yes. Son Nikah min Sunnati, Man Rahiban Sunnati, Faisa Minni, Akama Kal. Right. He's got a license. <laughs> well, what, this is the type of people that we have. You see, when it's what is conversion? You've got to change that person's outlook, complete outlook on life. At the back of the mind, she's still worshiping Jesus. Then some of them they say openly they are Christians and they're making their homes as centers for Christian activity. And the men you are losing men now. Because of the woman, they marry Christian woman and they're getting lost. In South Africa at the present moment, there are so many Muslim movements that are coming forward. You find Shabir Wadi, his wife is a Christian. Salim Adam, his wife is a Christian. All these because of the woman, they are all Christianized now. Even if they are not Christianized, as soon as the marriage breaks up, where does the woman go with your Fatmas, Adijas and Muhammads? Back again to her people. And where are they going? Aunties and grannies are going to church. So your little Fatmas and Khadijas and Muhammads are going to church. They're getting Christianized. Mm. Marriage break, you die. Where does she go? To your grandfather? No. She goes to her grannies and her aunties. Shh. We are losing by the thousands, Allah. The fools don't know what they are bargaining. They're playing with fire. 
I'm telling you that unless this Christian or Jewess, if you can make her a better person than your mother at home, don't take a chance. Unless you can make her better than your mother at home, better than your sister at home, I says you are being with fire. Woo! Are you prepared to do that? You got no time. And you're not a man anymore. You are not a man anymore. You are not a male, all right, but you're not a man anymore. You haven't got that power in hand. Like one of our poets, he puts it very beautifully. I hope I'll be able to translate it. He says, Sheikh Sahib, we to perde ke koi hami nahi. Sheikh Sahib, we to perde ke koi hami nahi. Mufte me, college ke larke unse badzan ho gaye. Waz me farma diya kal apne ye saaf saaf. Parda akhir kisse ho jab mard hi zan ho gaye. I'll translate it. Ah, let him translate. I will translate it. Please. This learned man, I'm not talking about our chef here. This Sheikh Sahib, he's also not a supporter of Parda. You know the Parda the way, he's not a supporter of Parda. Wazam, he said, yesterday in the wise, in the lecture, he said clearly, clearly, very clearly. He says, for no reason these university students are getting dissatisfied with him. He explained yesterday in the lecture very, very clearly that after all, against whom are you going to make parda when men themselves are effeminate? They are also already woman-like. The men are not men anymore. So in other words, you are also like women, you know. So what is this is, has come to men, that you are not man enough to exert your rights even in your own home with your own wife. So don't take a chance, don't get burnt. I think that the best thing to do our meeting is to wow. bring our class together. Masha. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wallahasa. Inna al-insana fi khusr. Illa al-ladhina aman wa amin salihat. Wa tawa sallu al-haq. Wa tawa sallu al-haq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Wa sallam. Wow, wow, like the, the part where he's saying that you are not men enough. I've realized that some people are not men enough these days. They feel they are competing with women, you know, like people are competing to like every person is competing these days. Like everyone is trying to compete. Some guys are competing with women, you know, they want to take the woman's spot. If you guys know what I mean. But another one from Amadita, guys, like incredible amazing never disappoints always brings facts to the table wow man he was he, he is really the best really 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 the best i really like him so much comment down below guys and please tell me what videos i should watch next and please suggest any video please i would like to see more content 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 thank you for watching i'll see you next time keep smiling peace